Folks, my name is Chinedu Vincent Akota. Welcome to my TV channel. I just watched a video now that got me so upset. A video where the customs and the Nigerian army went to Yaba, a place called Yaba in Lagos, in case you've not been to Lagos, uh, where the Igbo traders hawk and sell uh, fairly used clothes called Okreka in Nigerian language, in Nigerian parlance. One that shall never end. The Africa needs to go. See what is happening in my streets at the Yaba where they are selling okay. Custom and army come there, break all the shop, part all the okay that is that that is they are selling the imagine. Why can't evil people understand that lives Biafra? See what is happening like now in Yaba Lagos. I pity them. Many of them have traveled because of this SMASO and they break their shops, break their parking store, carry all their goods. I just couldn't tell how the customs will do this kind of operation when the traders are not around, when they've all gone for Christmas celebration down east. The customs and the Nigerian army moved in, uh, broke their stores, and cutted away their goods simply because it is. Uh, fairly used clothes. Uh, and again, you begin to ask this question, where were the customs when all these goods came into Nigeria? If ever, okay, Nigeria has banned fairly used clothes, but where were the customs when these goods were coming in? Did these goods fly in from nowhere and then landed at Yaba? It would have crossed from the Nigerian borders, maybe from the airport or seaport or the Nigerian... Um, uh, land border. So somehow also is an indictment on the custom officials that came to do this operation. I couldn't just tell, figure out what is happening. This also happened, this kind of thing happened when Buhari, unfortunately our, our president here was the army head of state. During that period, the army would just go into warehouses and break into warehouses without minding and then bring out goods and auction. The same pattern has also been repeating itself now that he is a civilian leader. One wonders what kind of wickedness is this. Why would the see why would the customs do this kind of uh, operation? You break people you break people's shop when they are not around. What if there are money or other important documents that are, are in their shops or in their warehouses? So you cut them away without just minding the implications of your operations. I, I can't just get my head around this. I can't just, I mean, imagine we are in 21st century, we are in Nigeria, these things are happening, no notification, no notice. Yeah, yes, I agree you ban, you ban them. The Nigerian government has banned fairly used clothes. But for the love of God, these traders, they are managing to make a living. The Nigerian government are not providing employment opportunities. They are not providing money for these traders to, to, to do their business. No jobs. No, there's, there are no money in circulation in Nigeria. There are hardship everywhere. The government is also now putting more hardship on Nigerians by these kind of actions they are doing now. It is deplorable, it is condemnable, it is a shame to the nation, it is unbelievable it's happening under this government. I am so sick of this government. I can't just believe my, my, my eyes, what I've just seen on this video. It is disgusting. I just don't know what to say. People are down there and at the east celebrating their Christmas. You just came to their shops broke their shops, broke their warehouses, cut away their goods, fairly used clothes, second-hand clothes. Why will you do that for God's sake? How are you going to compensate them? You're not creating jobs. You're not giving them money to survive. How would this, how would the trader survive? Is this it because these guys, these, trade, these guys are Igbos? Every single Adi Kahari tries to, tries to vent frustration, wickedness on Igbo race. Why? 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 Honestly, I'm so sick of this government.
nothing good seems to be coming out. It's calamity, destruction, wickedness, unemployment, poverty, and sufferings. If you have any feedback, if you if you have any feedback to give, please give them drop on at the at the feedback session. This is Sylvia Kuta sign off from now. Thank you.